Do you want to find customers online as a freelancer? Then maybe Upwork is the right platform for you. What you need to pay attention to is what we will be looking at in this video. Hi, my name is Melchior from Contest Tax Consulting. And if you want to find customers online, Upwork might be the right platform for you. On Upwork, the main focus is on the job postings. This means that companies that may have open projects can post a job on the platform and then freelancers, so possibly you, can apply for this particular project and the company gets to choose which freelancer gets hired. This means there are two things that are important for you. Firstly, the whole application process. So how do you write a winning bid? How do you go about that? How do you show the client that you really want the job and that you are the right person for the job? And secondly, your profile is incredibly important because every client will check out your profile before actually hiring you for the project. So your profile is sort of like a showroom and every future client will vet your profile thoroughly before actually hiring you. Which is why this profile is so important and you will have to pay attention to certain things. Because I myself have been active on Upwork for several years, I do have a lot of personal experience and that's why it's probably best if we simply have a look together at a profile. For this, I will take you onto my screen. If you have an Upwork profile, and you log in, then this is the first thing you see. You're greeted nicely. So good afternoon, Melchior N. Obviously it will say your name in your account. And then here you can search for possible jobs, but we will talk about that in a separate video. What we want to look at in this video is what your profile looks like or could look like. I have worked on Upwork for some time and so I will just show you my profile and we will use my profile to get to know the different elements and I will mainly spend time on things that are really important to find clients. There are a lot of things that you can add to your profile, but not everything will actually help you find clients. So in my opinion, there are certain things that are there, but that don't really help you. And I really want to show you what is really important when finding clients. The first point is the picture. And please use a picture that really shows you. I actually see this a lot in profiles that do not have a picture at all or an image that doesn't actually show the freelancer. And of course, a company or potential client wants to know who they might be working with. That's why you should definitely be clearly visible on your profile picture, which I do here, even if the picture is a bit old, but it's still me and you can still recognize me. And then the next important thing in the header is your job success rate. Upwork measures how many jobs were actually completed, so every client gets to choose at the end of the project whether you finished the job successfully or not. And it is really important that they actually kick on yes, because if I am looking for a freelancer and I see that only 60% of the jobs, so of the jobs that were actually started, were completed successfully, then I would really think twice about working with you and would most likely book someone else for the job where I can be sure that they will get the job done 100%. Sometimes there are situations where projects change, or sometimes the job description wasn't clear, or sometimes simply the strategy of the project changed. These kind of situations can happen. It is possible that a project just cannot be completed successfully, but then you should really try to find an amicable solution, how you could work this out so that both sides leave the contract well and that the client can still say that the job was successfully completed. This is really very important and it is the knockout criteria for most freelancers and the reason why they can't find a job even if the rest is absolutely fine. The next important point is the headline and the description text. I'm going to open this real quick and let's start with the headline. I gave myself the title marketing strategy community manager, SMM, so social media marketing and digital marketing. So I basically wrote down the keywords for which I want to be found. Because if someone is looking for a marketing strategist and is looking for a freelancer, then I want to be ranked as high as possible. If someone is looking for a community manager, then I also want to be found at the top, which is why it is really important that you always use the keywords for which you want to be found. And you can see the same thing in the description. Here, the whole point is to advertise you. This is an advertising text, and of course, you shouldn't lie, but you should really promote yourself. This is not the place to be humble. Here, you really have to showcase what you're great at, and ideally, you should underline this visually as well. I did this by using these emojis. Many people don't do this, but it does draw you in. You start reading, there are bullet points, colors, and the first thing I use is this star because this part can be seen in the preview. 
So if I apply to a project, then you can immediately see the color and somehow the profile leaps out more than other profiles. And you could do this as well. So please check out my profile, which I will link in the video description below. Just have a look at it. Copy it if you like. I'm not active on Upwork anymore, but you can copy the structure with the teaser text, bullet points, and some more description why it is great to work with you specifically. That structure you can copy if you like. What is also very important and something that companies always look at is your hourly rate. Here it says $80 an hour. This does not mean that you can take on other projects, for example, lesser paying ones or even higher paying ones. The thing is, however, that clients see your hourly rate. If you apply for a job, it can be tricky trying to explain to a client why your profile says $80, but you now want $150 an hour. Because why should a client pay more than the price that is listed in your profile? So on the other hand, it helps here to just write a slightly higher price than you would want to actually earn. Because if you write $80 and you then make an offer for $60, this looks like a bargain. Of course, it will also look strange if you write $80 and you then make an offer for $20 an hour. That is also problematic. The hourly rate that you write here should really be slightly above what you would really want to earn. Now, if you're really massively above, so if I were to write $150 here and that made me the most expensive freelancer applying for the job, then most likely the client will also not choose me, which would be a shame and also a bit of a waste of time and effort. And that's why you should be slightly above what you want to earn but never massively higher and of course also never lower than what you would actually like to earn and then here we get to the absolute most important part of all on your upward profile and that's your job history this shows which jobs you completed in the past on upwork so what was the title of the job what rating did you get from the client and also what feedback or what kind of testimonial you received from the client you can also see how much revenue you made with the project, how much you charge per hour, if it was charged by the hour, and also how many hours you worked on it. So every client can see what kind of job you did in the past, what kind of testimonial you received, and how much you actually earned. This kind of transparency, however, can be problematic sometimes. But if you do have a good reputation, then everything else is almost negligible. In that case, you will get work and you can sort of see this here. On my second to last job, I did not receive any feedback, no stars and also no written comment. And this just doesn't really look as good as for example, this job or this one. And this was partly due to the fact that this was an open ongoing contract for several years and I canceled it from my side. And I believe the company for which I worked here wasn't actually on Upwork anymore. And that's why I never got a review. Admittedly, a bit of a shame and actually somewhat annoying because it just doesn't look good on second position, even though everything went fine in this project. What's also important regarding the projects, they should all be in your area of expertise. You can see here that I wrote that I do marketing strategy, social media, and so on. I've also listed that here again also. And when you scroll through here, I did marketing consulting. Here, social media manager. Here, I did something else for once. Here again, I did social media management for Germany. Then again, social media marketing. Then here, I wrote some copy. That's also kind of marketing. Then I did social media management for German and English. Then something on Zing, which is also a social media platform. Here, also community growth. So I really have a reputation in this area. And if a company was now looking for a freelancer and the title says he can do marketing strategy, social media management, does community management, then everything underneath should really be telling that same story. And this includes your previous jobs. In my case, any client who's looking for someone for social media management, community management, etc., can be sure that I know what I'm doing, that I have successfully finished projects, and that my customers were always happy with me. So why shouldn't I then be hired? And this also means that I can command more money per hour. Of course, in the beginning, you don't have that. This means you should fill out the other fields as well. What's important here are the testimonials that you get from other clients. That means if you've been self-employed for a while, but haven't been active on Upwork, then here you get to ask for a testimonial even from clients outside of Upwork. You can send them a message through Upwork and ask them for a testimonial. And that way you'll at least have some testimonials. Also, if you have a certificate or degree, etc., you can add them here. 
and you can also add your work history as an employee here. What's important, the point is not to give a detailed CV here. So please don't write down which kindergarten or primary school you went to or what other completely different thing you did at some point. I've also been a waiter, but that shouldn't go in here because I want to sell social media management. And that means everything I write here should somehow underline that I know how to do social media. And that's exactly what I have done. I worked at Pergens, which by the way is my own agency, as a community manager and proprietor. And what exactly I did there. I was at KPMG, I added that because it's a well-known name. I didn't do marketing consulting there, but I was a business consultant, so I also added that. And at Steuer Azubi, I was community strategist and content marketing. This also reinforces that I know what I'm doing. So even without projects on Upwork, I can prove that I have several years of experience. And then you can add other experiences so different from before here. For example, I was on the board of directors at the Federal Association of Community Managers and that also underlines that I have knowledge in my field and that I have a network and that I really know my stuff. That's why I added this here. Now, whether I was a groundsman or something like that at the local football club, as nice as that may be, should not be on here because it won't help me attract clients, which is why I've left it out. Also, it wouldn't actually be true, which is why it would be wrong here anyway. By the way, on the left hand side, you can see a summary of your profile. You can see the total revenue you made on your profile. Your clients also see this. So not just you, how many projects you did and how many hours you worked on the platform in total. Careful, these are only the projects that were built by the hour. So all the fixed price projects do not contribute to this statistic because Upwork in these cases doesn't know how many hours you actually worked on them. And here you can add some information about language skills and so on. If you do a good job, you collect reputation. However, what's interesting here is that big clients have their own talent clouds. So a pool of freelancers with which they have made good experiences in the past and they know that they're good. And if you have worked on Upwork for a while, then you get added to these talent clouds by big clients. And that is very, very interesting because finding work on Upwork from these big clients will get much easier. I personally have worked with some big companies here on Upwork and I really sometimes am surprised what kind of companies are actually active on Upwork. Here you can see one, SunPower. I'm part of the talent cloud of SunPower and so if SunPower were to look for a marketing manager, then I would be at the top of the list. And they then see, oh yes, we've worked well together before. SunPower builds solar panels. They are in California, so they operate worldwide and they are world market leader in that area. I've also worked for Klarna and Magna, both of them big corporations that I both found on Upwork. I've actually had follow-up projects with them outside of Upwork, but I've met all these companies here on the platform. So don't underestimate Upwork. Upwork really has some very big clients. I know that it is a lot of work setting up your profile, but once you set it up, then acquiring customers gets a lot easier. Towards the end of my time on Upwork, I actually received messages from companies asking if I was available to work with them. So. If you do this for a while and build up a good reputation, then clients apply for you and not the other way around. I hope I could give you a first impression of how your profile as a freelancer on Upwork should look like. If you have more questions about this, please write us a comment underneath the video. This video is part of a longer video series, so a whole playlist where we explain how you can find customers on platforms, how you can earn a living working online, and what you need to pay attention to in terms of the bureaucracy. I'll link the entire playlist in the right upper corner. By the way, this video is part of an initiative. And in this initiative, we want to show Ukrainian freelancers how they can find customers in Germany and Europe and how they can make a living and what to watch out for. Because of that, we have also created a Telegram account, which I will link in the video description. So if you need direct help, if you have questions, then please join the group and we will answer all your questions in English and Ukrainian. That's also the reason why we have these videos in English and Ukrainian. I will link the other two videos here and here.